you. If there is anything you are struggling with, I was advising you, just put off the heavy things. Put off the heavy burdens. Put off fornication. It will let the heart well. Put off fornication. It hurts. It breaks the spiritual world. In Israel, there was once fornication. And there were people who were praying. Lord, put Israel together for giving. And the prayers were not getting to the heart of God. And there was one person who shouted this one. He found one of the ten, one of the tents in Israel. There was one person fornicating. And he went slowly and found them. And he struck a sword. And went through them. And the Bible says, and God was pleased. <laughs> My servant <laughs> has amused me. The one that has killed an Israel has amused me. Fornication is bad. Fornication is the last of the flesh. Through sexual entertainment. There is no shortcut. There is no defense. The Bible says just run away. Without that, if you stay in it, just wait for the day you will make it. Let's read one verse and let's finish. Amos Esura Yaguna. Let's read the book of Amos, chapter 4. Amos Esura Yaguna Yaguna. Amos 4, 12. Aina Chiatugamu. It has, he has a word for us. In Amos, the Lord wanted people, was drawing people to come back to him. He had blessed them in the first place and that took them astray. He let rain come to them and it actually drew them further away from them. And he called them, come, come, and let's put them together and Because he had used many channels to call them to come and they had refused. In verse 12, he gave them one more chance. He was saying, that's why I do this unto the Israel. If I have done this, Israel is waiting. Prepare yourself to meet the Lord. Your God. If the peace talks have refused, it's on one. And that one you will not waste. As you're preparing yourself, prepare, you will meet me. Prepare yourself to meet the Lord your God. Friends, church, one of the gospels we need today to know is to know the generation that we are that we should know that we should know and read the signs. The second thing is to know what will be on the day of judgment. That creates fear. 
it threatens hearts chikuletera no kwegendereza nokola and it brings care in one's soul na kulomsa ngeruli the day of judgment is there. It is going to capture all the days of our life. At the end of my days, is an opening into the day of judgment. At the top of all your days, you will enter into the day of judgment. It's a day of questions. It's a day of fear. It's a day of weeping. It's a day of rejection. It's a day of being cast away. It's a day of being rewarded. I just wonder if somebody has held the past. And they open to see what is in the books. And the hand writes before him. You have been sentenced. And have been judged. That everything, you lost everything in your life. You have been judged and sentenced and you found that you are not. And also the, side, the other side, the other people who are checked in the books, they gave themselves sent to the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is giving a report about their lives. Lord, I gave the report of this person. He was weak and he accepted his weakness. And, and he decided to bring me close to help him. He didn't have strength just like all others that don't have him. But this one melted towards the truth that I revealed unto him. My heart, his heart used to melt towards the truth. One time he wanted to pray but he didn't have strength. But when I knew that he wanted, I quickened him to pray. And he obeyed and He starts to give a report about every person. Where, where the book ends, the report says, it's one of these people that are declared that has been judged and has been found that is worthy of entering into the kingdom. And I pray that you will be one of those that will be worthy to get into the kingdom. Whatsoever you do now, you find it. Front. Just stop working for someone to appreciate. Do that what you do, that, that there is a day of judgment. There will be a time to give accountability of people. Let me ask you to close your eyes. In your free time, Please read Ezekiel chapter 7. Verse 18 says, In that very chapter I'm speaking about, people take hold of their wealth and all that that actually strayed them and throw them in the roads. They were like, why did this strike? That they will break them apart. And doing all of that, they will not be any more help from them. We need to put right whatsoever is wrong. We need to leave whatsoever you feel and when you do it, it forfeits your relationship with the Holy Spirit. 
What does the Holy Spirit point about in your life? You may want it so much, but you need to live it. I don't know how many days you have in the earth. Mkwano, friend, and I can look at the same thing. Don't see the master.